Hello. Somebody was asking recently, how do you absorb and find a lot of vocabulary for a language when you're just getting over that beginner stage where you're starting to feel comfortable with it, but you just lack vocabulary? Now, it's a very good question. And I struggled with this myself at first. Some people say you just buy big fat dictionaries like this one, which has 200,000 words and you go through the dictionary. I can never do that. I tried it just for a few days and it was hopeless because firstly it was very very boring and it had loads of words in there that were just really obscure and I didn't know which ones really to learn and even when I did learn the words I'd forget them very quickly because there was no context that made my brain want to remember them. Now a lot of people then say that dictionaries unless you're superhuman um, aren't the best way and instead you should just rely on natural reading and this is really how I get most of my new vocabulary now at a, at a more advanced level. So for example I'm reading a three volume uh, novel uh, about Veneto which is I think originally written in German but this is the Czech version. Um, it's Wild West stories. It's great stuff for me, adventure stories, I love that kind of stuff and I'm learning some new words in here. If, not every page but still plenty of new words all about the Wild West to be honest and um, that's great but I wouldn't recommend that at the earlier stages because as I'm learning about the Wild West over hundreds of pages 500 pages per book three books one and a half thousand pages that's a lot of reading you, uh, you and even though I'm primarily doing it for entertainment at an early stage you might want to be learning reading more for educational purposes so you want more words per page if it were and a revelation I had going back three or four years now uh, which gave me a real leap I would say from really this is what helped me jump from beginner to intermediate was to buy a children's encyclopedia Velka Dietska uh, Encyclopedia which means of course the big children's encyclopedia this one's aimed at children age 8 to 10 which is a perfect age group when you're at that level in language learning because the words are quite grown up they're not baby talk but they're not overwhelming it's not like reading the Encyclopedia Britannica this one actually has 250 pages or so and well, choosing randomly, the articles you can see are on various, very varied topics. So, yet, which means poison. Um, another one here, yeshab, which is that bird, cray, a crane, and also the construction equipment, also called a crane. Yeskinya, which means cave. Yezaro, uh, lake, and so a wide variety of topics. And you just pick one that interests you at the time, read about it. When I was using this book, I would read one of these even going quite slowly in maybe 10 minutes and get a load of vocabulary about that area. And then I'll show you, I'll, well, I'll actually show you how I did it at the time. Um, let's find a good example of a page that's got, yeah. So here's one of the early ones. Sizi um, Yazik, foreign language. Um, Sizinet, a foreigner, Coca-Cola, I don't need to say what that means. And if you look, what I actually did at the time was go through the article and circle all the words I didn't know. And you could see there were probably 20 words per article. I didn't know very much vocabulary at all then. And, and then I would look them all up in a dictionary and write the definition in there. There were two things I did then which I think were wrong. The first is as soon as I found a word I didn't know, I'd look it up. I don't think that's a good idea because it means that your reading is interrupted. And I soon change that habit. But the second thing is, I put all this scrawl all, all over the pages, all this writing, which makes the articles a bit hard to read then, as though, uh, as though a spider's jumped in some ink and then landed on the page and run around. So I stopped bothering to do the circling, and instead, whenever I then read a word, uh, an article, if I came across a word I didn't know, I'd write that word on a separate piece of paper. And then at the end of the article, I would look up those words that were particularly interesting to me um, but only once I'd finished so that then my, write, my reading would flow still. In fact, I, even now I would change it even further. I would take a highlighter pen 
and highlight the words I don't know so I didn't have to keep writing them on a separate piece of paper because it's important to me at least to keep the flow going so that you get into it. So so I would, reading the Coca-Cola one, I would now say uh, Coca-Cola yeah, ne alkoholitsky napoi, cherno hnede bavi, pieste studeni, obsahuje kofein, latka, ktera je i skavje. So Coca-Cola is a non-alcoholic drink, um, black brown coloured, one drinks it cold, it consists of, or uh, contains um, caffeine, um, the material, of, well, oh, we'll come back to that, which is also in coffee. So imagine we looked saw that word latko and didn't know what it was. What I'd do now is take a highlighter pen and just highlight it. So I'd, I'd just go, oh, don't know that one, highlight it and just keep going. So the flow keeps going. Then later on in that day, I would read these in bed, by the way, before I got up and uh, write all these notes. So it would take a long time. Now what I would have done is just spend five minutes or ten minutes reading an article and just highlighting it, then got out of bed in the morning and got ready for work and so on. And then when I had time um, later, go through it and find the words, maybe at lunchtime, that, um, in the dictionary that I'd already highlighted and then spend my three moments in that day studying those words. And because it was an article I'd read that morning, the whole article would be fresh in my mind and the, and the words would all relate to one another, so they'd be easier to remember. Yeah. So that's really the idea. You just buy a children's encyclopedia, go to the articles, get your words there. It worked for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. Thanks very much.